After a years-long fight, Disney and a Central Florida Tourism Board, appointed by Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, reached a settlement in a lawsuit regarding the special governing district in which Disney is located. For decades, Disney had control over the district, and that effectively changed when Disney and Governor DeSantis fought publicly over Florida's parental rights and education law, which critics dubbed the Don't Say Gay Bill. The law put restrictions on issues like sexual orientation and gender identity and how they're taught in Florida public classrooms. Disney came out in opposition to the bill. In retaliation, Governor DeSantis asked the state legislature to end Disney's special privileges and its control over the special tax district. Florida's Republican-led legislature then gave DeSantis the power to appoint a new board of supervisors to oversee the district. Disney sued, claiming its right to free speech was violated, which led to a two years long court battle. As part of the settlement, Disney has dropped its lawsuit against the Central Florida Tourism Oversight District and conceded that their last minute development agreements are null, void and unenforceable. According to Governor DeSantis' spokesperson, Brian Griffin, saying in a statement, no corporation should be its own government. Moving forward, we stand ready to work with Disney and the district to help promote economic growth, family-friendly tourism, and accountable government in Central Florida. Walt Disney World's president, Jeff Valley, released a brief statement on the settlement saying, we are pleased to put an end to all litigation pending in state court in Florida between Disney and the Central Florida Tourism Oversight District. This agreement opens a new chapter of constructive engagement with the new leadership of the district and serves the interest of all parties by enabling significant continued investment and the creation of thousands of direct and indirect jobs and economic opportunity in the state.